CBS 2's Darius Johnson just spoke to Mitchell's cousin and grandmother. He joins us now live at Hillcrest High School with that part of the story. Darius, good evening. Hey there, Chris. Good evening to you. I can tell you after speaking with that family right now, they're in a state of shock. They're also in a state of disbelief. You know, you always hear about families experiencing things like this, but they say they never expected it to hit their own. Now their main point and their main goal is to honor and remember 14 year old Marshawn Mitchell. Police tell us that all of this took place after nine o'clock last night when shots were fired after a homecoming game right here at Hillcrest High School. It's still unclear what led up to the shooting, but Mitchell was hit and later died at the hospital. His family tells me that Mitchell is funny, loving and smart. He also loved football. His family says he recently started his freshman year at Brother Rice, but recently transferred Hill to Hillcrest just last week to be with friends. He was there one week. One week. Yep. Seven days. The police was there. We don't deserve it, y'all. If you're looking over my shoulder right now, you can see that there is a prayer circle of about 10 to 15 kids. Yes, they're kids. They're 14 year olds. All of them. They went to elementary school with Marshawn and graduated back in May with him. They showed up here at Hillcrest tonight to be able to honor and remember him. Sadly, those students at Hillcrest were supposed to be getting ready and getting prepared to attend their homecoming dance. Instead, they're gathered in a circle praying and honoring and remembering 14 year old Marshawn Mitchell. At this time, no arrests have been made. We're live at Hillcrest High School this evening. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. Darius, thank you.